Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Tell you this, what's your nationality? Are you Mex considered Mexican? Do you know your history's in the Bible? When the conquistadors came here, what did they teach us? Because they came and conquered y'all first. They taught you that Christopher Columbus looks like, I mean, that Christ looks just like Christopher Columbus. They taught you this, right? What does Christ look like in the Bible? Do you know? Now, you believe in the Bible? Watch this. Go to the top. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hair were white like wool. Which one of these guys have woolly hair? Woolly has cur curly hair. Christ had hair like this. Guess what? If you go look in your... Your genealogy, four or five generations, guess what your great 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 grandmother's hair look like? Yes. A lot of you, Latinos, Native Americans, had the same hair as us. We're the same people. Christ is a black man, not a white man. Watch, we're reading the Bible. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like a divine brass. If I look at Christ's feet, it said brass. What color is brass? brown now if I burnt if I burnt bread in a toaster what color would it come out if I burnt it now watch this his feet was you said black that's right his feet was already brown in color as if they burned in a furnace what color was Christ read it again and his feet like a defined brass as if they burned in a furnace what color was Christ According to the Bible, not what they taught us in Catholicism or Christianity. They taught me my whole life that Christ was white. So guess what? When I saw a white person, I showed them reverence. But when I, when I saw a black or Latino person, I already popped my shoulders up because if I think white is right, I think black and brown is wrong. Christ is a black man. Guess what your foremothers and forefathers were? They were black. But they tell you and us that we are not the same people. Right. We are the same people. Look at your conditions. You're confined to the barrio where y'all kill each other. Go to the ghetto. We kill each other. You might own a couple businesses, but who do you pay your taxes to? Go look at your photo album at home. I got one right here. This is your photo album too. But go look at your great, great, great grandmother. What color were they? They were the same color as Christ. That's right. But because we identify with our slave master, and we don't even know he's still our slave master, we're happy right. and comfortable with that. But we hate our own brothers and sisters, black and Latinos. If you ain't brothers by blood, you're brothers by condition. You're the only ones that kill each other. And it's okay until your baby get killed. What about the babies down at the border? Your babies that are being kidnapped. Look at them two little beautiful babies right there. If someone did something to her baby, she would fight you. Let's do something about the babies that's down on the border. We are crazy. Get that out of you. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11 and verse 5. Bring it out. Whose possessors slay them? Whose possessors slay them? Who kill you in, your st in the street and they never go to court for it? The so-called white man that we all love. Read that again. Who possessor slave them and hold themselves not guilty? Come on. They say I'm not guilty because they might get probation and go home in five days, but your loved ones are dead. Read that from the top again. Who possessor slave them and hold themselves not guilty? Latino. I got a surprise for you. You are the best people walking the face of the earth. If you never heard that before, let me be the first to tell you. You're special. You're so special, 
You're God's chosen people. You got a question, sir? That's up the long time. You was looking here? Take a look. So that means. What happened? I said, where's the communion in the Bible? Yes. Communion. Man, yes. Like regular bread. bread. Okay. What does it mean? Let's, under, let's understand what it means. You know why? Because where did you learn that from? Your understanding of church. And the same church taught you that Christ was white. What color, Tony, what color is white? Uh, Christ. Whatever color you believe in. No, that, Tony. That, Tony, that don't, Tony, just listen to what you said. Whatever you believe in, that's not true. Because if I believed I was rich, would I be rich? Because I'm pretty sure you wish you was rich, and I'm pretty sure, Tony, the blacks and Latinos are not rich. You hear that? Who's in the ghetto, Tony? Who's in the barrio, Tony? Blacks and Latino. Who lives on the reservations, Tony? The Native Indians. We're the same people. But guess who taught you communion as you know it now? The white man. You got it? This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 10 and verse 16. The cup of the blessing. Don't go nowhere. Come here, come here. The cup of the blessing. Do you understand what blessings are? Yes, you're giving me a blessing right now. Give me, hold that, give me Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Blessings is what the most high says, not what you and I say. Because Tony, do people die in the street by the hands of your people? Uh, Latino on Latino crime, as they like to say it. Oh, yeah. Do the white man kill y'all and they never get blamed for it? Do we sell drugs in our communities to our own mother and sister? What's blessed about that? Who makes up the population of the prison system? Blacks and Latino. So you telling me that's blessed? Watch this. This is blessed. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass. If thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So there's a condition, Tony, and you tell me if y'all, if you all and your people's following that the condition that the Most High set out for us. Read to it, Lord, to observe and to do all His commandments. That's the condition to observe and to do all the Most High's commandments, not what Tony wants to do. Read which I, Lord, which I command thee this day that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Keep reading. And all these blessings shall come, up, come on thee and overtake thee. So in order to be blessed by the Most High, you got to follow your father's laws. Just like if you're at home, Tony, and you don't listen to your mother and father, are you blessed in the house or do you get that butt whoop? Okay, well that's not a blessing. But actually it can be if it corrects you. Read. If thou shalt hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, blessed shall thy be in the city. You hear what he said? If you listen to the Most High, blessed shall you be in the city. Now who's the Most High? The Most High is God. Now, now, and he's the God of the blacks, the Israelites as a whole, the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, and none else. Really? Matter of fact, hold that. Give me Joel 2 and 27. You never heard that, Tony. I'm looking at your ass. Is he the God of everybody? Who is he the God of? So first, I want you to look at this list right here, Tony. Where you fall at? These are the 12 tribes. I fall in the, uh, in the, uh, Issachar? Yeah. Yeah. So you're called Issachar. Watch what the Most High says about the Israelites. These are the 12 tribes. Read. The book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. And you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. He's in the midst of you blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. And that I am the Lord, your God, and none else. What did he just say, Tony? So he's only the God of you Latinos, blacks, and Native Indians who went through slavery on cargo slave ships. Right. I'm reading the Bible. Read that again. And ye shall know. Let's call it out. Call it out. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2, and verse 27. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. You blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans who went through the slave trade. You are the Israelites. Read. Yes, and that I am the Lord your God and none else. Do you know what a blessing that is, Tony? He said, I'm the Lord your God and none else. I'm reading the Bible. You believe the Bible, Tony? What is that? Show him. No, show him. Tony, did you know that was in the Bible? You know what was in there, Tony? You know what was in there? What they taught us. And they taught hatred. Because if Christ is white, you automatically, if you think Christ is white, 
you automatically hate your own brothers and sisters because they're not white. Right. Latinos are not white, Tony. And they know they're not. A lot of them know that their great-great-grandmother was dark-skinned. We're the same people, Tony. But it's not the color. It's the blood. Give me that. It's the blood that runs through you that makes you an Israelite. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth.